Hi guys and welcome to this video and in this video we're going to look at how we create reports with built-in calculations. So as you can see we're using the database that we chose before where we had our Christmas videos, so Home Alone, Power Express, etc. As you can see we set up our query. Our query is going to be looking at things like the event description. We're going to use a calculating uh, totals field using the totals option at the top to count the number of IDs that appears and we can look at the seat IDs and the number of tickets and as you can see we can see here that there is one person that did no table and another person that did a table. So what we're now going to do is we're going to jump straight into creating a new report using the report wizard. If you click on the report wizard we're going to choose the query that we just looked at so the table seat, uh, total ticket seats and we're going to select everything and drag it all over. Now when we get to this part what we want to do is we want to group it by the event description. As you can see it puts it at the top. We're going to click next through all of these until we get to the final one where we're going to choose the justification. I prefer to have it as a, a landscape justification and then we're going to give it a, an appropriate name up the top. So we're going to give it the name of FR, sorry, RPT underscore ticket sales. And then we're going to jump into the modify the reports design. So as you can see, access lays it out in a certain way for us and when we run it we can see that yes all of that data that was in the query has been pulled through um, and it's laid it out in a slightly different way than what we may prefer it to look like. So you can see that there is a table, non-table, how many tickets and the number of customer IDs that were counted. So if we now go into the design, we're going to change a few things to make them look aesthetically pleasing. So we're going to get rid of the QRY element and get rid of the spaces and the underscores and make it that this report has a meaningful title. So we're going to put ticket sales report. Now what we've got down the bottom inside the detail area is the information relating to the event description that's grouped. So if we look at the view, you'll see that it says Christmas or Home Alone and then it's got underneath it the entries and then Home Alone and then the entries underneath it. What we want to do is we want to have it so that the information is listed in a row. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all of this data or these fields and text boxes into the event header. So we're just going to select it, we're going to cut it and then we're going to go inside the event header and then we're going to go and paste it. It'll look like it's overwritten what's there before, don't worry. If you drag it to the right hand side you'll see that actually it has not overwritten it and we can just move it to the right side. Now notice this entity at the moment it was a like a list box. If we right click on it and go and change to we can choose to change it to a text box and we can do that quite easily. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to preview it, see what's gone on and yep okay we can now see each entity has one entry so we've now lost the table element so we're going to refine and amend our criteria. Now what we can do is we can go inside of each of these fields and we can add additional criteria. So I would like to add to the number of IDs some form of way of calculating the total of them. So if we go in here we can say for the example inside the seat we're going to go to the very beginning and we're going to type in equals sum and then we're going to have a curly bracket and then a square bracket around our seat type and we're going to put in i if and then we have our brackets equals speech mark table close to speech mark and then we're going to put a comma and we're going to type in a square bracket num underscore tickets close our bracket and then we're going to put a zero comma zero and then close our open brackets that we did before so there we go and if we run that it should now give us a calculation of the number of tickets that were of a seat type with a table now what we want to do is we want to make one where it was that there was no table. So we'll just make a bit of space, drag this one across 
and to save time if we select it we can right click we can copy it and then we can right click and then we can paste and then just move it so that it's in the place we want it to go so select that one deselect that drag it up and then we'll do the same with the one in the header and then we'll drag it up and then inside that calculation we're just going to change the table to no table so now if we run this what we should be able to see just change the type the type up there for the heading so this is going to be no table and get rid of what was in there before and we'll do the same for the one with tables so just put table Now if we run this, it should show us a breakdown of the seats with tables and the seats without tables. But at the moment, the number, the total, isn't quite right. So we're going to go into the design view. What we want to do here is we want to do equals and then type sum. And then we're going to put brackets around the number of tickets. And then if we run that, what should now happen is it should calculate the two boxes together and give us the correct value. So just check all the records to make sure it cal calculates correctly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the description area and just drag it up and make it smaller. And now what should happen is that our view should look a little bit better and look a little bit more ordered without that big space in the middle. And then finally what we need to do is we need to ensure that the total number of customers is correct so like we did with the number of tickets we're going to put an equal sign in here and we're going to add the values together so we're going to equals sum and then in case the number of customers in brackets and then we'll run that and we should now see that we have two customers for each one of the events As always guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.